Hi, this is Matt from Test and Tag Training. Welcome back to part two of testing a three-phase motor, where we will be conducting a leakage current test. As before, we will be using a Matrell Delta Pat 3309 appliance tester. Here is our leakage current meter, which we will be using in conjunction with our PAT tester. This meter can perform a leakage test of up to 32 amp on a four or five pin three-phase appliance. The LCD screen will show us the leakage current reading. After performing our visual inspection, we need to plug an IEC lead into the side of the meter. We then insert the other end of the IEC lead into the front of the PAT tester. Ensure to plug the earth return lead into the tester, followed by attaching it to an exposed metal part. Lastly, plug the three-phase motor into the correct socket of our leakage meter and secure. We now must perform an earth bond test, also known as an earth continuity test. The result must be below one ohm as per the Australian standards. Once this task has been completed, unplug our Metrol tester. Selecting the correct main supply to our three-phase leakage tester, plug it into the three-phase GPO. This is what our setup should look like. Let us begin our leakage current test. Turn the mains power on, then switch the three-phase appliance on. Switch the meter to the on position. What we are looking for is a leakage current reading of less than 5 milliamps for our motor to pass. That wraps up our three-phase leakage testing. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed our video. See you next time.